Welcome to Arkham Insider. We have got an immense episode coming up, kicking off with Gaz busting out of Bloodhaven and into the GCPD. And Dax is going to be making the Earth move, rumbling in the tumbler in a brand new Batmobile pack. And what's more, we're going to be announcing the winner of the Arkham Photo Mode competition. We are back on the world's most comfortable couch and I'm joined by two of our AI legends. Tim Hannigan, lead AI programmer, welcome back to the show. Thanks guys, good to be back. And Rich Spears, QA for AI, welcome to Arkham Insider. Hello guys. So we are going to be having a look at Nightwing's story pack GCPD lockdown. Now Tim, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? So what's going on here is uh, Nightwing's got a tip off that uh, Penguin is being broken out of GCPD. So obviously at the end of Batman Arkham Knight, after the Nightfall Protocol, Penguin is locked up and uh, his men are trying to get him out, so Nightwing's here to uh, stop to that. Awesome, so this takes place within the GCPD building? It does, it does, it uses the GCPD, it's uh, the full kind of height of GCPD, it's the biggest invisible predator area we've ever put together for, a, for an Arkham game. Awesome, and it also takes place during the day, so this is the first time that players are going to get the chance to see what our version of Gotham looks like during the day, and of course it's raining. Of course it's raining, it's Gotham. Right, Rich, let's see what you've got. So this is the first solo Predator mission that's available as Nightwing? As Nightwing, that's right, yeah. So we've got four floors within this environment, Tim. That's right, yeah, and it's full of penguin thugs at the moment, so uh, Rich is going to try and take them out without too much alert or alarm. And we've got a range of thugs to deal with. Some of these are new models. Yeah, so we've got, you can see there, a medic. Um, so the penguin thugs have obviously uh, got some medic thugs of their own now. <laughs> So Nightwing is stepping up, taking on more responsibility for Gotham in this. That's right. Trying to make sure that Penguin can't get his influence into Bloodhaven, but, you know, I suppose the old turf is important to him as well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, sweet moves, Rich. This is the worst. So, Rich, what are the challenges that you're looking out for here? What are the big dangers in this area? So, you've got that one big minigun thug. And the guy's just spotted you. <laughs> just slightly, so I'm going to try and run at this point and uh, try and escape their view, because if too many of the thugs approach me, mm -hmm. then I will be in a lot of trouble. We don't want the medics reviving too many people either, so it's best to stop them at the earliest opportunity possible. Freeze. Oh, and there's the fear takedown on both medics. So is that all of their medics down now? So that's one threat dealt with. Yeah, one of the major threats dealt with in this map. Excellent stuff, let's see the voice synthesizer. Yeah, so Nightwing's obviously picked up a few of Batman's gadgets as well. A uh, massive environment like this, like the gadgets can be even more useful because the guards will move across multiple floors, so really drawing them into where they're weakest is a really important part of this, and it feels very Nightwing to me. So right now, Penguin is halfway through being broken out of GCPD. So he is stuck in a lift and uh, he is berating his thugs as they try and deal with Nightwing and get him out at the same time. So Penguin has gone from being locked up inside a cell to being shut inside a lift, a lift. inside GCPD because his thugs just aren't smart enough to break him out all in one go. That's right, yeah. So Nightwing's job now is to try and uh, take out the thugs. And it is out. not easy being Oswald Cobblepot sometimes. Sometimes it's a hard life. Sometimes I feel sorry for the guy, I really do. Oh, and that is a sweet exit, a lovely escape by Rich there, using the scaffolding on the outside to get out of a tight spot. In on a different floor to take advantage of that massive area. We have got one thug left down, and it's the chain gun guy. He is the major threat here. Tim, what's the best way of dealing with him? Well, it looks like Rich has opted for the tactic of the uh, voice synth again. Get him near the environment takedown, and he's going to uh, pull a fuse box electrify on him, I think. Awesome. That sounds like exactly the right strategy here. So sending him then to the wrong place by pretending to be Penguin. And oh, here it comes! Buddy, you should not have listened to that radio. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Rich. That was a little taste of GCPD Lockdown starring Nightwing. We cannot wait for you to play it. Bam! We are back on the WMCC and I'm joined by Ingmar and Ed and we're going to be rumbling in the Tumblr in the upcoming Tumblr DLC. Ed, light those afterburners up and you give us three of your best laps. You'll be sweating spinal fluid. I'm going to be talking to Ingmar about the insane visual effects that are going on. Ingmar, you are the visual effects lead here at Rocksteady. That means anything that crumbles, anything that explodes, anything that lights up, that's coming out of your top drawer. It's not only me, it's the whole team. 
which uh, produces these fantastic effects. And like you see in the tumbler, we have lots going on. We have explosions going on, destruction going on, pillars breaking apart, <coughs> controlled detonation, nice. which are all fabulous, and you know I really love them. Because the whole Tumblr promise is about destruction and devastation. Yeah, yeah. When you think about what the Tumblr is known for, it's about being just a complete wrecking ball. Exactly. The Tumblr DLC was one of the first things that we said, okay, we're really going to focus on destruction. You have a helicopter in there that shoots rockets whilst you race. It has impacts, it, it puts away like pillars which are in the, the environment, gets completely destroyed. You have the debris falling, you have fire all the way from the impacts that again produces debris. We even put like grates that spew out really dynamic fire and color which is all very lovely. As you race it gives that dynamic feel. It's beautiful you know to look at. Ed you have shown your prowess and your skills on this track hand over to Ingmar and then we'll get into the depths of the sort of considerations that go through your mind when you're creating an environment like this. The fact that it's set within a movie studio within Gotham City, but also the inspiration is drawn very much from films. What are your primary kind of creative considerations when you're building out a track like this? So my primary inspiration for this was to take from the movies, but also push it in a way that it has as much concrete destruction as possible. The movie sets work really well to separate key areas so you can keep the action really concentrated across the map. How does it feel though to put all that effort in and then just see people like Ingmar smashing it up with <laughs> just blatant disregard for your work <laughs> and your care and your love? Well this is exactly what makes it so brilliant. It's the best thing ever to see everyone just destroy it as right. much as humanly possible. I actually quite enjoy getting really bad times right. on these laps, <laughs> just to destroy as much as humanly possible. Just lay the pound down as you're going around the yeah. track. Nice. Yeah. So you can play it twice. Right. Once, <laughs> once, for, once for time, once for fun. So there are two tracks in the upcoming Tumblr DLC pack, Ashes and Cataclysm. This one has been Ashes. Ed, Ingmar, that has been an awesome insight in what it takes to make a track like this. And that has been rumbling in the Tumblr whammy. That is about all we've got time for on this episode of Arkham Insider. But before we go, we're going to announce the winner of the recent photo mode competition that we posted on Twitter. We asked you guys to hit us with your best in-game photo mode photos. And the winner is going to receive... This awesome limited edition of Batman Arkham Knight. Not only does it contain the game, not only does it contain an awesome art book, you're going to get DC Comics Batman Arkham Knight issue zero. Oh, and the awesome limited edition memorial statue. The winner is... Riff Khan coming in with this sweet ass Batman vs. Man Bat aerial wrestle tackle takedown showdown scenario. And that really is all we've got time for. Thanks for watching Arkham Insider, and until next time, be, be the, the Batman. Batman.